Hello everybody and welcome to Dungeon Crawler. We're going to choose Bernie. Now, Bernie's main thing is that we only have three seconds to use the claw, but we get 100% more coins, which basically means whatever build we end up doing is going to involve coins. So this is going to be a slap them with money kind of run. Which means magnets, hand of Midas, and golden daggers. <clears throat> so, first round, we have three seconds to position the claw. And then it will drop at the end of those three seconds. And the next grab, I want that shield and three daggers. Or shield and two daggers, that'll do. I'll take it. So I'm going to end up taking about 9 damage. That's fine. Alright, got an opportunity for a good grab here with the piggy bank. A dagger and a shield. Ooh, that Nelly slipped out. That's fine though. I'm going to grab this cluster of daggers here. Got 4 daggers and a shield. That's excellent. So I'll end up taking 2 damage this round. Ah, oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll earn the health back. Alright, I'm looking at this and I think these three daggers over here are my best option. Or two daggers. Alright, so I need... I'm just going to play it safe and go for... I meant to grab two shields, but one shield will do. It's going to take another two damage, but it's okay. It's early game, plenty of time to heal. Alright, now I'm just going to go straight for these daggers. And right there we have them. One thing with this character is you have to pay attention. You cannot get distracted and forget to position the second claw, or else you can get a terrible grab, and that is fantastic. A gold dagger already. Those are kind of rare when you're looking for them, so getting one of those this early in the run is extremely lucky and going to be extremely useful. Alright, and I'm going to try to grab the piggy bank and a shield, or just two shields, that's alright. That's why we have multiple turns. Alright, I'm going to go for the piggy bank again, and a shield, excellent. Now, I don't think I can kill them this round, so I'm going to try to grab the big shield and a small shield. Which looks like I've gotten, along with at least one dagger. Yes, good. Okay, don't really want any of these. The piggy bank's not too bad, but it's... Not great. Uh, I'll reroll one more time. I got the magnet. This is amazing. <clears throat> Have two out of three of the really important items already. So let's see what we can get from this machine. Hopefully get something good. Magnet range. That's that's pretty decent. So what's the other option going to be? Weak enemies? Ooh. That's a tough decision. I think I'm going to go for the Magnetism, because once I get a Hand of Midas, the enemy health isn't really going to matter, because of the sheer amount of damage that will be being done. So, decrease the enemy's health isn't all that important to me. Oh, and look at this nice bundle of damage that I can grab right here. Ah, missed a few daggers, that's alright. Grab here, will give me a piggy bank. And a good amount of damage. Good. Uh, I think that's almost enough to kill him, so I'm just going to jump over here and grab another dagger and the golden sword. And that's plenty to finish him off. Alright, what have we got here? Nothing great. Hand of my... First floor. This is the first time. I have not been re-rolling this to get the right items. This is the first run through and I've already gotten the three most important items for this character. Yeah, for the build I'm going for. So that's fantastic. Now what I want is a little bit of healing. 
and some money. So I'll see if I can go here and get two piggy banks and two health potions, or just two health potions in a piggy bank. I'll take that. There'll be plenty of gold coming my way later in the run. So, 50 gold, 99 health, facing the boss. So, first of all, magnet. That does not have much on it at all. Then gonna try to grab a bit of damage. Okay, just pick that off the top. Two daggers. He's gonna buff himself. Now I'm gonna try to grab this magnet and hopefully that gold dagger will come with it. It did not. But I got a little bit of block. Now, time to grab the gold dagger, which already at this point should be doing a decent bit of damage. Nine damage, not too bad, not too bad at all. I think four damage here, but that's nothing major. Now the magnets grabbed all those coins, which is terrific. So I'll just grab those coins, and it left the hand of Midas even better. So now it's time to go for the gold dagger, which at this point might not even be needed. No, it was just needed. So 10 damage there. I don't particularly love either of those for the build I'm going for. Although at the moment, three strength is probably the way to go. Now, Pachinko Machine or Upgrades? We'll go for the Upgrades. He's dead. Now, I don't like any of them. I don't like any of them. The next upgrade next reroll would be a bit expensive, but I don't like any of these. And I got the same option, so I shall go for, go for a small sword. Ah, didn't get the coins. That's okay. Still got a decent amount of coins from that. Now, I don't like any of those. I will take another magnet. Now, upgrade time. I'm gonna upgrade the magnets. Upgrade the Gold Dagger, upgrade the Hand of Midas, and that will do me. Now just grab this Magnet. Excellent. Now I'll try to grab the Piggy Bank and Big Shield. Nope, just got Shield, that's fine. Because that will thoroughly negate the damage that's coming my way. Next, it should drop in the Hand of Midas, yes, which means that if I can grab this bundle right here... No, 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 okay. Not good. I really need to grab this bundle. Come on, come on, stick, stick, stick. Yes! See, there's... That's why you want the big Hand of Midas and the multiple magnets. And another gold dagger? Yes, please. 170 gold already now. I'm actually going to take the gold dagger because if I deal enough damage, then it doesn't matter how much damage the enemies do because they're dead anyway. So basically, if I can just out damage them, I don't need to worry about defense. Grabs like that will not help me out damage the enemies. Grabs like that are what's going to make this run lost. Alright, well, that was an easy 30 gold. Knocked out 100 health that time. Now, this is a good grab, hopefully. What was that? How did that skid to the side like that? That's alright, I'm going to try to hook over the top. I didn't go far enough. The RNG is on my side for this fight. Alright, is this going to kill him? No, not quite. Pretty close, though. Yeah, less than 20 health. Well, he's going to knock me, but I don't really care, because I'm just going to go ahead and hit back. And I'm going to hit harder. Yeah, I'm going to hit an awful lot harder. Yeah, bye-bye, fella. I don't even need the second claw. Not by a long shot. All right. <coughs> Increase the range of magnets, magic mirror... That's good. I'm gonna go for the magic mirror. Now, 
one. Chinko Machine, I'm going to go for the Blacksmith, because I have at least two more gold daggers to upgrade. Oh, that's fine. He's dead anyway. 74 damage. I don't want any of those. I don't want any of those. Uh, Strength Potion doesn't really do much for me. I'm going to do it one more time. Another Hand of Midas. Yes, please. Go for this upgrade machine. Now, what will I get is the question. It's looking like it might be picky. No, it's not going to be picky. What did I get? Pets and poison. Well, pets is useful, so I don't have pets. And poison is barely even useful, but I'll take it. It means the different enemies down to a fraction of health, so I can just finish it off with the poison. All right, I'm going to try to hook down on the left side. Didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. That's all right. I'm going to try to get the claw in between the wall and that other magnet. Absolutely perfect. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Well, I'd have to stuff up pretty badly not to kill him this turn. Yeah, it'd almost be difficult to not win this turn. Like, genuinely. Yeah, that was only two daggers. But because of that first item buff, it's even better. Um, do I really want a third magnet? I already have two or three. I have two magnets. Do I want... Yeah, I'll take a third magnet. That's probably a bad idea, but I don't really care. So upgrade the magnet. Upgrade the hands of Midas. Upgrade the daggers. I don't know. I guess I'll upgrade the strength potion. Why not? Uh, next time I get a choice, I'm going to go for a shredder. Because I need to get rid of some of these items that are just kind of uselessly taking up space. Hopefully two big banks. Or just one piggy bank, that's fine. I'll still get plenty from that, because it's the same as two piggy banks. Alright. This should be pretty easy. Try to get in between that shield and the wall. Yes, tip over like that. The only problem with situations like that is where the bundle kind of sits on the edge and then tips back into the machine. I only got one of my three golden daggers there, which is quite unfortunate. That's all right. Ah, here's the reflect. This is the problem. So I'm just going to skip this turn. There goes the reflect. And now I can hopefully get in here with the claw. Hopefully on the second grab. Come on, come on. I just need the claw to sink in well. Like that. Come on, come on. Now I need this bundle to tip over the top. Yes, it did. Excellent. This is going to hit pretty hard because all three of the gold daggers are in there. So yeah, this should hit him pretty hard. Yep, he's dead. GG. That boss is so annoying. All right. 2% uh, of coins. Extra claw in the reward rooms. Maximum HP. Fluffy. Is that too greedy? It probably is. It's probably a bad idea. It's going to make the bundles too big to get through uh, the slot. But I don't really care because it's fun. And even if you don't win, I'm going to have fun. And I hope you're going to have fun watching this. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to grab the magnet. And I failed. That's quite fine, because that's what the second clause for. That's right, the first clause for damage, the second clause for the pathetic amount of gold, which is barely worth grabbing. That's right, got over 400 gold. And this time I can surely grab this bundle. Surely. Or not. Uh, I think that extra fluff was a bad idea. Well, I'm just going to finish... This fight? No? Oh, come on. The f extra fluff was definitely a terrible idea. Look at this. I don't think it's even going to fit. Yeah, no. Um, I regret my choices. The extra fluff was 
really bad idea. Like, I cannot say how bad of an idea it was. Um, I'll take another gold dagger and play the gumball machine. I don't know if it's a gumball machine, but it looks like a gumball machine. What am I going to get here? Ooh, that one would be nice. Yes! Golden armor. Yet yeah, 200 health. Excellent. So at this point, I have almost as much health as the boss. Hopefully that grab will have shifted things enough that I can now drop this inside. No? That's alright, I got the two gold daggers, which is going to deal a lot of damage. Yep, 220 in total. Alright, this boss is super easy. Like, seriously, it doesn't hold a candle to the one with the reflects. I wish you could scrap the extra upgrades. Uh, the perks. I wish you could scrap the perks. If you could scrap the perks, it'd make it so much better. By better, I mean that you could undo dumb mistakes. Well, he's dead. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, what am I going to do here? Increase the range of magnets? Maybe? No. 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 I guess I'll just take an extra three strength. I'm gonna head over to the bin because I want to shred the piggy bank. I want to shred this sword. I want to shred all of these swords. Most of the shields. And one hand of Midas. One hand? Two hands. I think just one. Alright, that was super expensive. But... Yeah, now I have a lot less junk in the way. Which means that just a random grab... Ah, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Come on, come on, I need the left side of the magnet to drop in, to hook around that. Yes! That worked. <coughs> Reroll. Skip. Okay, down here to the anvil. And separate these two gold daggers. What's gonna be Squidula? No TV man. So. That's going to hurt him so much. And then I think I can even grab this bundle here. If I can get the magnet hooked into that... What was that? Literally, what was that? The magnet was... The claw was straight in that magnet. And then it just dropped out. That's fine. I don't care. I'll just drop that in there. And I'll come over here. Grab that. I think that'll just about kill him. Yeah, he's dead. He's, he's cooked. So, let's keep going. Um, no. Also, no. Picky, I guess. Okay, hopefully I can squeeze the claw in between there. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't slip. Don't slip. Go over the edge. Over the edge. Yes! That's amazing, they're all dead. <laughs> no trash can, this one. Surely, if I grab two magnets like this, the whole bundle comes, right? Right? Tips over the edge, tips over the... Yes! 
that is the kind of luck that I need. I need that luck. Alright, re-roll, 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 skip. Boss time! Squidula! I don't have time to mess around with you, Squidula, so I'm just gonna go for... That was really rude. That was so ridiculously rude. Come on, come on. Good. Good, got a good grab. This will deal about... F oh, yeah, he's dead. It's cooked. Yep. Some, uh, some calamari or something. Uh, decrease the health of all enemies at 25%. Yes, please. Stop doing that. It's not fair. The weakest dagger I have, of course. That'll get tripled and it'll still kill them all. Yeah, it's the weakest dagger I have still one-shots every enemy. Another dagger, sure. Trash can. Get rid of a magnet and a hand of Midas. That, I think, will make things better. And I'm also going to just get rid of all the shields. Don't want to get rid of that. Do I want to get rid of all the shields? Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of all the shields. Like, the amount they, of shield they give me compared to the amount of health I have means it's better to just have the health. Alright. That's so much better. That is so much... Who, who would have thought making yourself weaker would make yourself stronger? He's dead. Like, I don't even get to hit him twice. Because, yeah. <sighs> no. An extra three strength doesn't even do anything at this point. I'll take the range of magnets by 20%. It doesn't say the strength, it says the range. So that should mean... The magnets will just have a better time um, helping me grab large bundles of stuff. That's so much more damage than I needed for those. <sighs> Alright. Um, why not? Why not just get to the point where I have more health than the bosses? You know, if I could get another one of them, I would absolutely do it. Like, who doesn't want just a stupid amount of health? Like, if you have so much, so much health, um, it doesn't really matter, because the only thing that can kill me at this point is myself. And if I have stuff reflected back at me, the amount of damage I'm doing, it doesn't matter whether I have 10 health or 1,000 health, <coughs> I'm still going to kill myself. Like... I don't stand a chance against my damage. Just gonna dagger him. He's dead. Like, he does not survive this. Ah. Almost didn't need a third attack. Um, up to a maximum of 100 coins, so 2%, 1% to 50, so up to 5,000 it'll give. So I'll take the savings count. Dead, dead, dead. Dealing 500 damage just from a base attack now. One attack is going to kill him, but I have three. So, yeah. Maybe one shot the boss. I will take that. I don't know why. There's no need for me to have that much. But I'll take it, because I can. I'll try to pick that magnet off the top and hope I get a cluster with it. And I did. Excellent. I need a rubbish bin. Let's get rid of some of these items, because I don't need them. Come on, game. Yes, over 6,000 gold already.
This is fun. We have another golden armor, which means my health will go from just under 4,000 to 5,500. And, and finally, I have the bin option here, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of a whole heap of stuff. It's going to be kind of expensive, but so worth it. <coughs> Over 2,000 damage. I'm not going to go to the extremes that some others have gone to. But, okay, so let's see. I'm going to get rid of this magnet, this one, these two. Those are kind of expensive to get rid of, so I'll just leave them. And these daggers. Honestly, I think five is all I need. I'll, yeah, I'm just going to get rid of everything down to this. And I think this is going to be so much more powerful in the long run. Okay, what's this machine going to get me? Increased critical hit chance by 5%. Well, I'm probably going to take that. Let's get something crazy. Which I did not. So I'll take another one. So I'm at 15% critical hit chance now, I believe. Yeah, 15%. That's pretty good. Um, okay, let's try this out. I have a feeling this will go... Yeah, this is so much more manageable. Like, look at that. That was not even a good grab, and I still got everything. So now I'll get a lot less coins per round, but I'll probably get more of them. So the Hand of Midas won't convert anywhere near as much fluff, but I should actually get most of the stuff it makes rather than none of it. Yeah, so much better. <clears throat> if I could get rid of that extra fluff, it'd be so good. Wish there was a perk to reduce the amount of fluff in the machine. That's an idea, actually. I wonder if you got the upgrade for an extra claw in the rewards rooms again if it would actually give you a third claw, or if it caps out at two. I wonder how that would be animated, like would it be visible over the side, or how would that look? Alright, boss time. Well, I mean, basically however I grab this, I'm gonna kill him. Even like that, that was the worst grab in history. Actually, not quite, because it did actually grab, so... It wasn't that bad. Another 20% crit chance, don't mind if I do. So one in five hits will now be a critical. Which means, of course, that one time out of five, I will do 50% more damage, roughly speaking. Also, I'm over 7,000 health now. I'm going to go for this, and yeah, lost it, just like I predicted. Okay. Try to drop the claw down in there and fail, but that's fine because I still win. Over 2,000 damage. Alright. The enemy health is starting to get up there. If that enemy had 200 health, yeah, like that bomb, um, at base level they have 96, I believe. The enemy health have more than doubled. And their damage has also increased by probably about double as well. Do I want another small magnet? Honestly, that could be good. I'll give it a try. So I think a third magnet is where things start getting a little goofy. Yep, 7,900. Pachinko machine, what have we got? There isn't really anything I want from these. I'm just going after the reward room, really.
There's that, and then ideally I'd grab two here, but instead, if I can just grab one and pick it off solo, that seems to be the maximum amount you can possibly get in this room, unless you get super lucky and manage to grab three pigs in one grab, which is almost impossible. Now... I thought it was dropping out for sure, but it didn't. 2,400. The damage is starting to get crazy. What's it going to give me? What are my options here? 5% more crit chance? <laughs> oh, yeah. I will take that. So from 8,000... No, from 6,700 health, up to 8,358 health. This is so good. This is so stupidly overpowered, but I love it. Yep. So, bosses aren't a problem anymore. Um, range back by 20%. Honestly, I wouldn't mind another 5% crit chance. So it's not 25%. Now I'm going to take the short way because I'm trying to crush through levels a bit. I'm going to stop fighting every single bit because I don't really need any more items. All I need now are perks, really. It's dead from the first attack. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. max health even more. I have over 10,000 health now. I'll just go down. Oh no, it's going to deal 90 damage to me. It's going to hurt so much. Oh, look at that. I still have 10,800 health. Honestly, at this point, even if enemy did have some reflect, as long as it's not boss level of 10 reflect, I'd be fine. I could hit myself a couple times and it'd be fine. Everything would be A-OK. -okay. That was a messy grab, but it worked. And the questions that don't need answering are, do I do enough damage to kill the enemies? Um, I mean, I'll take that. It will just sit in the corner and do nothing. But who knows, I might need it. Maybe there'll be an enemy who's going to deal 20,000 damage to me and has 5 reflect. Skip. The boss. Oh, 1300 health. Oh, you're really amping up your game, boss. I might have to focus a little bit to beat you. I'm just messing with you. I don't. Just one attack does twice your health. Okay, I will take this. Oh, this one's so much better. Drop this down. Grab the daggers and the magnets and a couple coins. And 4,600. Just like that. Um, magnetism. Don't want that. Don't want that. I don't want that. Uh, I can't. Uh, I guess I'll take an extra poison. I did not want that. I should have stuck with the one at the beginning, wherever that was. Look at those three daggers lined up like that, though. That looks so good. Okay, so they, um, he, he made the health potion big. Buddy, that was, like, the least helpful thing you could have done for yourselves. If I had made one of the daggers on top big, you might have had a chance. But the, the health potion did nothing for you. Did not slow me down in any way whatsoever. 
if anything, it made it easier. I don't think it made it easier, but it certainly didn't make it harder. So yeah, I'm still doing 10 times your damage, so your health. Okay, this is the final boss for the video. So... Yeah, he's, he's cooked. Another 50% crit chance, which means I'm now at 50%, I believe. Thanks for watching. I hope that was fun, and I'll see you in the next video.